Okay, but you can hear me, right? Okay, cool. Stand by. It's now time for Connecting Caregivers with author, speaker, caregiver advocate, and talk show host, Linda Burhans, the gal who cares for caregivers. Caregivers around the world today, it's time to lift you up. It's time to celebrate. Sing it, girl. Good afternoon and welcome to Connecting Caregivers on the TAN Talk Radio Network with me, Linda Burhans, the gal who cares for caregivers with love, laughter, and lessons learned. On the show where you can find help and hope. We're working it. We are working it. And as always, we have my best friend, my co-host, and my sidekick, not psychic, Lynn Thornley. Hey, Lenny. How are you today? I'm doing really well. Got a lot going on, huh? Always. We're just busier than a bird. I am. I'm getting my house in shape because I'm having company in October. Yes. And we're going to go to Biloxi, but that's not happening, I don't think. Well, I guess you'll just have to go to the high rock. I guess. I, I can lose my money anywhere. <laughs> you know, I am not a gambler. So Thank I, goodness. I, I, go, I gamble I $5 mm -hmm. or $30 or yeah, whatever. Yeah, 20 yeah, so the other day we're driving somewhere. <laughs> That's my first minute. <laughs> the other day Lynn says to me, oh, my God, I'm so glad you're not a gambler. We would really be in big yeah, trouble. Yeah, we'd be in big trouble because yeah. my cousin who's coming, she, her and I are terrible. We, I was up in Montreal, and the, um, the natives up there have opened some Indian um, casino. Yeah. I was there seven days. We went four <laughs> times. We won no big. Well, that's a good nice. thing. Yeah, that's a really good thing. This time. Yes. So today we have on our show our health coach detective, Tammy Taylor, is live with us today. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. It's so wonderful. Every week we're getting you more comments about, oh, that's a good tip or give me another tip. Because, yeah, I find when you can just do that little piece, you can right. like, because we're all so quick today. I don't want to watch a, our radio show. Right. I just want that two-minute tip, and I want it right. And I want it now. And I want it now. And with us, we have my dear friend, Rick and Corvia. Hello. I'm so glad that you're here today. Thanks, Linda. We're going to talk about a lot of different things. Okay. Um, first, I'd like to say a shout-out to our newest listeners. We have Sheila in Sarasota, Gretchen in Seminole, and Ron in Largo. Welcome. We're back to three again. Yeah. So like oh. I always say is there is always room around the Connecting Caregivers table for new listeners. You can tune in at noon on Saturday. You can watch us live on Facebook and YouTube, uh, or you can go to the podcast. And we have the podcast for the radio show for the past two and a half years, which is a really good thing because lots of times a caregiver will tell me that show had nothing to do with me when I heard it, but now it does. Right. I need to go back and listen to that show. Or... I like it because I can check what out for the war. That's what she does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I look at all the pictures and go, oh, had that on a little while ago. Can't wear it. That's not good. Funny. That's not good. One of the things I wanted to mention this morning is I just got a call the other day. Um, there was a woman that came to my support group. This is probably like four or five years ago. And um, she was taking care of her mom. And she came to the support group very regularly. And then her mom passed away and she went back to North Carolina. So she calls me up and she goes, I'm back. I said, what's going on? She said, well, this time I'm back to take care of my godmother. And my godmother is an artist, so her entire house is like sculptures and paintings and clay things and all this stuff, she said. But my aunt's most favorite time is when she's in the garden. Mm -hmm. She said that when she's in the garden and she plants something and a flower blooms, she feels like it's God winking at her. And she just loves that. She said, but my, mom, my aunt's too frail to go into the garden. She said, well, I've been to enough of your support groups, Linda. So what I did was I contacted all our relatives and friends and asked them to please send flower pots and soil and bulbs. And they did it and they sent little notes. Because oh, there's nice. a big thing with caregivers with becoming isolated and people aren't coming around because right. people don't know how to handle the illness or whatever. So she kept sending them and every day some more would come and they would plant them. And she said, and every time one bloomed, she was like, God's winking at me. Mm -hmm. Well, when the last flower bloomed, her aunt passed away. Mm -hmm. 
And what she did was she took all the bulbs and brought them back to North Carolina where she lives and built a garden in her memory. So I call it Blooming Beautiful. with Love. Yeah. But she just called me the other day and she goes, okay, it was a new challenge. Now her uncle was dying. This girl has but a he, lot. Yeah, she has a lot. On Some people kind of like gravitate towards that stuff or people just right. know how to go to. And um, she wanted to do something with him. He used to be a big car buff. So she contacted him. So you everybody. had everybody send cars to him? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Remember no that for when I'm not well. <laughs> right. Sorry. Nice. That, whatever. But people sent model cars and okay. some model cars oh, they had yeah. made. And some was just, you know, like the one guy, he said he remembered his um, uncle had a Nomad station wagon. Mm -hmm. So he actually cool. found on Amazon or whatever a Nomad station wagon. Yeah. And and she said, and the cool thing was, so then like the, the uncle got the Nomad station wagon. And then that conversation started. Yeah that conversation and then they called the nephew or whoever it was that sent it and said oh thank you so much and he's like mm -hmm. remember when we went up to the cape or you know the, yes. the pond or whatever so there is always a way that we can contact and we can stay in contact with our people yeah. whether they have just a terminal illness or a dementia or oh, they're just aging right because this is not always a show about people that are sick mm -hmm. there's plenty of people that are out there yeah. just aging and doing really good stuff so um, Rick and I have been friends for a while. We actually yes. met on Facebook. True. So when people say bad things about Facebook, they're not right. That's right. That's how we met. That's how we met. And uh, we met each other and uh, because we're both authors. Correct. And you have some books that I've read that I have written down on your piece of paper because the Traveler's Bestseller is my favorite. Um, in your dreams is kind of cool too. Okay. So we, I read some of your books and we hooked up and we got mm -hmm. together. And uh, then I invited you to come hear me speak. First, we went to that nice Italian restaurant. <gasps> a meat you know, cheese. Yes. Or as Bob calls it, a Mickey's. That was very fun. <laughs> yes. That was very fun. <laughs> and um, then I was doing a presentation at Arden Court. Yes. And I wanted people to come to hear my presentation because it's good for me for people to come. And I said, will you please come? Yeah. And then and what I thought, happened? I thought I was doing you a favor. I went there and I just couldn't believe the, the things that I learned that were going to affect me a very short time later. I have a, I'm one of nine kids. We're all aging. Everybody's over, gosh, 55 now. My parents, 98 and 95 at the time. And as you know, dad recently passed, mm -hmm. which was a, a tough, tough time to, to get through. I was really glad I got to talk to you before that. And now that he's gone, 95 year old mom all by herself wants to stay in the house. So I've just just learned so much and have tuned in way more than you know. <laughs> That's to learn a good thing. A lot. I've learned a lot and I've pulled a few tricks of my own, I think. And we're going to talk about some of those tips in a little while because you know what? This is something we're all going to be dealing with. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a person who's aging. Yeah. But first, we have to go to Tammy Taylor's tip because if Lynn like underlines it on my piece of paper one more one time, more time I, I, I will be in big trouble. <laughs> okay. Yes. So yes. Tammy. Well, yeah. today and I call Tammy the health coach detective because. Lots of times when you go to a health coach, they, they're like, um, take the exercise, eat right. And that's what they tell you, exercise. But Tammy's a detective. She finds out exactly what the issue is okay. and how we can deal with it. And then where to go from that. And I think that's a whole big difference in Tammy. So welcome. Thank you for the warm welcome. Yes. So today we're going to talk about the heart-brain connection. And most of us think that the brain is the organ in charge. But actually, there are neurons in the heart the same as our brain. That's one reason why our heart speeds up when we get excited, okay. calms down when we're mm -hmm. relaxed. And of course, blood flow affects how the brain functions. So good heart health is important for good blood circulation. Here are some ways that heart you can help your heart function better. Okay. Maintain a healthy weight. Okay, we're good with that. Yep. Aerobic exercise. We're good and, with that. Yeah. And then you don't have to go to the Zumba. You can just briskly walk. Yeah. That's or go to curves. Yeah. I'm not like I do. Aerobic, yeah. So I do weights. Yeah. yeah. Or swimming or if you like swimming. Yeah. Or walking. Or walking briskly. Yes. Briskly. Because you have to get your like heart rate Like you're right marching. Out. Yes. Yeah. And then eating fish or taking a supplement that has a good omega-3 in it. Mm -hmm. I like that, fish. Yeah, that, Me too. That's very important for heart health. And then drinking black tea. No. Yeah, black black tea actually helps your your increase your blood flow and it helps the blood vessels. More than coffee. 
More than more than Rats. coffee, yes. <laughs> Rats. Yes, and managing stress. Yes. That's the toughest yep. one. We really need to manage stress because when we're under stress, Breathe. our body's yeah. tight. It's it's constricting yeah. that blood flow. Okay. And if you smoke, stop. Decrease or quit altogether. Yeah. Yeah. This is good to breathe. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to yeah. breathe. I noticed I was a couple of weeks ago. I went to um, Orlando with my husband to see some friends. And he was like, as he gets older, he's a little nervous about the traffic. He's really nervous about this. Yeah. And I was just driving. I kept going. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and all of a sudden, he was like in the same rhythm with me. Yes. <laughs> and it was better. It yes. was better because I think you, you clogged Calming yourself up. up. Call yourself up and you're not breathing and breathing yeah. is very important. Have you heard that new show that's coming on um with Ann Curry? Yes. The care? It, yeah. That sounds interesting. It does sound interesting. It's yes. sort of up your alley. Yes. And I'm so glad that there's more and more things like that coming yeah. out because we need the awareness. Yeah. Because we know it teeth, first. They don't know why. It looks yes. very interesting. It does. Because yeah. everything today is a pill. Yep. Everything today is a pill. Like yeah. Yeah. We need to learn to listen to our bodies. Yeah. Because they give us clues. Yeah. 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 It's most important. Well, yeah. thank you, Tammy. We appreciate yes, that. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit more. So I, I know that your dad passed away at 98 mm -hmm. years old and you sent out this email. I don't know how July 5th it says. And it was Jakey's birthday. Oh, yeah. We were skydiving. Yeah, so we were skydiving. <laughs> that's that's what I remember. We were skydiving. <laughs> that's wild and crazy. Wild thing, yeah. <laughs> her, her husband would never let her go skydiving because he said there was no insurance for it. No one was gonna look after himself. Yeah. So <laughs> we went on his birthday. We're up there like, "Hey, Jakey, how you doing?" <laughs> it was good. It you was wanted good. to tell everybody, I bet, after you got down. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a good thing. So our next bucket list is um, zip lining in Hawaii. Excellent. I think that in be Hawaii. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That we. I took we that because I always yeah. wanted to go to Hawaii. You can go zip lining anywhere, but no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. Just okay. look over the jungle and the yes. flowers. Oh, oh it'll be good. Doing. So anyway, so Rick sent out this little email. It's his monthly musings. <laughs> and it just delighted me when I see what has happened with you and your family as a result of caregiving. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about okay. how uh, some technology has helped you and yes. how, how you got, because I know like you actually moved out of your house. I'll let you tell your story. Okay. So we had a, a little bit of a family meeting and wanted to, to decide whose house mom was going to move into because she can't live by herself. We forgot to ask her what she wanted yeah. to do. <laughs> and she said, I want to stay in my house. And so we had argument back and forth. And I decided that uh, actually Jennifer said, Rick, your wife, my wife, why don't we, why don't we move in with mom at least for 30 days or in 30 day increments to see how feasible it is for her to live and, by and herself. And think of what a wonderful woman this is because oh you gosh. haven't even been married a year. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, pretty I thought cool. that was pretty wild. That is pretty and cool. When we started to do the logistics of it, you know, three cats and how it would all work out and close at home, we decided it's only 30 days. I'm going to go there by myself. We only live a half mile from mom. So I went there for, for the 30 days was the plan. And I would come home a lot. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I would sneak home just to say, hey, how's it going? What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, Jerry, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. Jerry. Yeah. You're You're newly, married. Married. You're You're newly wed. Let's yeah. see. Boy, um, this digressed fast. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, spent a lot of time there and, and just trying to figure out what kind of issues she would run into. And there were the simple things like she'd pull out the little three-step ladder to, to get up and get you know, where the toilet paper was, was in the garage. And, okay, that's got to change. So all dad's tools went to either the bottom shelf or the top. And, and everything that she needed went into a place where it was easily reached for her. Right. And then we brought in Alexa. We introduced her to Alexa. I love Alexa. And, uh, and Alexa, all throughout the day, will say things like, don't forget your vitamins today. And, and don't forget to put on your life alert. And it's That's 9 o'clock. Call, call your brother. And all through the day. And so she's gotten to know, like, and trust Alexa. And also you could hear her arguing, I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, Alexa you. says everything twice. Yes. Oh, and, does uh, she? Yes. Yes. She'll, so anyway, all throughout the day, there's little she's things. A woman. We did other things, and uh, we put in a uh, on the stove. There's a, a five minute sensor, so that if she's ever cooking, and she walks away from the stove, immediately a sensor starts, and if five minutes goes by, it shuts the oven off. Mm -hmm. How Pretty cool neat, is that, isn't it? Right? Wow. Yeah. Really? Wow. So, and I never heard of that before until I, you had said that. Yeah. That could well, be so good for so many people. At first, one of the siblings, and nobody 
wants to say who took the the handle the the knobs off because you know okay now she can't cook unless somebody's oh, there um, oh, oh that that not good aggravated her Whew, yeah I almost, I almost said pissed her off who are you <laughs> to tell me right you're i'm your Little mother boy. yeah what well, yeah she was very angry about that so of course i was the hero for putting them back on <laughs> and, oh, uh, and you're we, the favorite right yeah self self-proclaimed favorite <laughs> and uh so anyway we we did that and then we also put um we have a camera in there which of course i said you're not if you're listening mom tune out which i say <laughs> is just focused on the front door. So right. we know who's coming in and out since we're right. all taking turns coming up, but it really covers the main living room and, and kitchen. So we could at least see how she's doing when she is alone there. What else? And we also put uh, little notes on the bottom uh, down, down low. So in case she was to fall, it says, Alexa, call Joe, call brother Joe or Alexa come there all over. So if she was ever to have an issue, fall in the bathroom, anything, it's a, we have a separate or Alexa. If someone's bathroom. with her and she and they fall and she right. falls, they, she's gonna say, Look at that note. Right. So it's just everybody every one of our names are in there. So if she ever wants to call us, all she has to do is say Alexa, call Rick. Call Rick. So so that's been working out pretty well. We just tried to to come up with all different things. Uh, she doesn't like to shop anymore. So we've all decided who does the shopping, who does this, and we who's each, good at what? Right. We each take a day where tomorrow's my day. Instead of going into work, I work from from home or her house, go there and have breakfast with her. And uh, you know, often she wants a little bit of her own time. So I'll leave for a while and, and come back. But that's our day to see how she's doing. Uh, we also set up a, 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 a communication area where each one of us could say, today mom had a rough day. She was really angry about so-and-so. And so just just that kind of thing. Or it's mom perfect. did not take her, her vitamins yesterday and little things like that. So And, and what's, <clears throat> you have a lot of siblings. I do. So I mean, you have a team. I'm one of nine. Yeah. I mean, we don't all live here, but the ones that do are within walking distance of her house. There's five of us. And, that, oh, and wow. someone Great. comes every night for dinner with her, right? Oh, yeah. And I think that's so important because even if you're a person that's home alone mm -hmm. during the day and you realize your, your kids work or whatever, is, yeah. to be able to have someone come every night. Right. And just come and have dinner with you and just spend some time with yes. you. I think it's so important. And we'll nice bring it kids. there cook it while we're she there deserves. or take her out. So it's, it's just one of those, but it's always somebody's there. And it's kind of, it's cute because she, she's starting to forget a, a lot of things and, and says little things like, you guys have a whole schedule, don't you? But it, it's been a year now. No, no, we're just doing this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just happened to come tonight. <laughs> right. Right. Just well, missed that's you, okay. Did she do anything social? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we take different turns. She's still going to, to exercise. She just started a, uh, a, um, Yoga. balance no yoga. yoga yoga class and one of the my sister-in-law takes her and she's very involved as well and and i like to take her to thrift stores because she just loves it she's so tight with her money and she doesn't need to be dead to, but that was in the days well, yeah she had nine children so you are right yeah your money. oh i'm telling you but she, we, i took her to a thrift store and it was a senior day or a wednesday we went in and she wanted an outfit and well i only brought five dollars with me when we got to the thing and it was a dollar fifty she was like, oh, my gosh, I'm spending this whole five. <laughs> so oh she must have fun. talked about that forever, about how she I got a whole new wardrobe today. It's like, <laughs> so she loves it. So now on Wednesdays, I try and take her to one thrift store or another. And, and that's and kind of cool, it. too, because then you give her a new story. Right. Because I find a lot right. of time with uh, with people as we're aging, they're telling the same story after the right. same story. Because if, mm -hmm. if nothing's new happening with them, right. they don't have any other story to tell. So if you're taking them out and you're doing something or you're yes. on an adventure or you've gone out to dinner to this restaurant, there's a little more conversation in there. Right. Because she does have some stories that we've heard a lot. <laughs> yeah. Some are adorable. But... And, and someday she's going to come out with a story you haven't heard. Yes. And I find that just recently, my um, my husband, Tom, mm -hmm. um, I had somebody come and interview him about his life. So we've been together since I'm 19 years old. So I know most of the stories. And I knew that he was in the Boy Scouts, and I knew that his mom was the den leader. Mother, yeah. But I didn't know when he was 12, they had a, some kind of skit, and they needed a woman, so they made him dress up as a girl. Oh, how and funny. wear a, like a blonde wig mm -hmm. and everything. And he was like, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> and the person that was interviewing him said, um, so did your mother have to bribe you for that? Mm -hmm. And he said, no, when my mother asked me to do something, I did it. And I thought, what a nice thing for mm -hmm. my grandchildren to hear later, yeah. you know, because yeah. <laughs> that's not too much today. Listen up, kid. But yeah, it was very interesting. It was interesting when he said he was married before me when he was very young. And he said, there was nothing wrong with her. There was nothing wrong with me. We were just too young. Yeah. 
We were just too young. So I thought that was very, and I, and I think that's important, whether you have someone that, that's failing or whether you just have someone that's aging, take the time to have those conversations mm -hmm. and hear those stories because there was still stuff that I didn't hear, mm -hmm. thinking that I know it all. All I know is he said, the best day of my life was when Linda walked into the lumber yard. I said, yeah, that was a good thing. You can tell that story her. over and over, right? Oh, and he God. married her because she was covered in paint. He yeah, that was so he, cool. When he proposed to me, I was covered in paint. And he actually gave me a test. He's like, and we've been we have been living together for a while. And he goes, Linda, if um if we ever get married, would you still make dinner? I go, uh, do we still have to eat? Yeah, I I, I, I might think so. But yes. I didn't get and that then, test. And then he waited like a few more minutes and he came back and he said, Linda, um, if we were ever to get married, would you get fat? <laughs> so, I'm not really planning on it. That's <laughs> not the plan. How about you? And then it was like, Linda, if we were ever get married, um, could I still go out with my friends? I was as long as I can go out with mine. Yeah. Oh, I guess we should get married. Uh, and that was the highest phone bill I ever had in my life. Because that's when you used to pay. Yeah. And I was like, oh we're my gosh, getting married. Yeah. It was delightful. But right now we need to hear from our wonderful partners. Because you know the deal. If you don't hear from them, you don't hear from me. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Are you looking for compassionate and dependable home care for you or a loved one? Assisting Hands Home Care serving Pinellas and Pasco counties can help. I wasn't prepared for dad to get sick. He's mom's primary caregiver. But thanks to Assisting Hands, we were able to give mom the care that she needed from getting her up in the morning, making breakfast, getting her showered, to changing the sheets on her bed. They understood her memory loss and were able to provide us with a caregiver who was patient, kind, and engaging. Mom smiles when she arrives, and they have a great time together. Assisting Hands has helped Mom remain happy, healthy, and home. Assisting Hands Home Care. Call today for your free in-home consultation. In Pinellas, call 727-748-4211. In Pasco, call 813-280-4383. Or visit assistinghands.com. When you can't do it all, give Assisting Hands a call. Arden Quartz is an assisted living facility designed to care for those that are struggling with dementia or Alzheimer's, where families and residents can feel the freedom with a nurse on site 24-7. Arden Quartz provides specialized memory care in a safe and nurturing environment. They recognize every individual's physical, mental, and social needs and provide a secure environment that fosters independence for as long as possible. Walking paths, visual cues, and home-like amenities invoke a sense of freedom and independence. At Arden Quartz, their goal is to make your loved one as comfortable, independent, and healthy as possible. They offer 10 hours a day of activities and programming with a unique setting of a home-like environment and four theme houses. It warms my heart to see how happy the residents are. Please call or stop in to talk with a representative. Arden Quartz of Seminole at 727-517-7800, Largo 727-559-8411, or Palm Harbor 727-771-1600. Give them a call. SCG is a 501c3 not-for-profit healthcare organization dedicated to providing quality health care within our continuum of care. Whether you or a loved one is in need of skilled nursing services, home health, or outpatient therapy, they can help you. SCG has skilled nursing communities providing around-the-clock care in North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. Transitions Therapy is their very own outpatient therapy division that covers physical, occupational, and speech therapies for all ages, including pediatrics. No matter if you're transitioning from one of their hospital partners or from one of their communities, their home health division, Diamond Home Health, can assist you in your recovery while in the comfort of your home. Their priority is to provide you with a continuum of care that includes skilled nursing, medical home services, and rehabilitation by a team of experienced professionals dedicated to getting you back to living your best life. At SCG, this is what they consider care reimagined. Visit them on the web at www.seniorcaregroup.com. Call 813-341-2771 or message Senior Care Group on Facebook.
Want to nominate a caregiver? Download the Caregiver Affirmation or to listen to this week's show or previous weeks, just go to www.caregiversradio.com. Are you looking for some resources, a support group, inspiration? You can find it all at caregiversradio.com. There's a calendar of support groups and caregiver events, a weekly blog, important telephone numbers, and people and companies of integrity like elder care lawyers, home health care companies, geriatric care managers, and many more. If there is something you're looking for that you do not find there, please feel free to email Linda and she will find the resource you are looking for. Interested in having Linda speak at one of your events? Just give her a call at 833-795-9990. Linda Burhans, the gal who cares for the caregiver. You'll be there. Because that's what friends are supposed to do. Oh, I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Okay, caregivers, now it's time for the caregiver affirmation. Take a minute, take a deep breath, sit down, close your eyes if possible, and just listen to these words. I know on my journey there is help and hope. I affirm that I am a good caregiver, that I try my best each day, and I recognize that I deserve to have my own needs met just as much as those for whom I care. I promise I will not allow myself to be consumed by my caregiving role. And I will set aside time in my busy schedule just for me. I am mindful of the other caregivers in my life. And I will let them know that I appreciate their efforts. I am grateful for the people that walk beside me. I will take good care of my own health physically and spiritually. Drink enough water. Eat quality foods. Allow for time to rest and to exercise. Laugh often, if only at myself. And seek medical attention for my own health concerns. I am who I am, and I allow others to be who they are. Today, I will add one item to my assisting angels list. Then if someone calls to say, let me know if there's something I can do, I will be ready to accept their offer and provide them with the opportunity to assist me. It is an honor to be of service of others, and I will not deny my friends and family this honor. Okay, think about it, caregivers. So caregivers, like I say, when somebody offers to help you, let them help you. It takes a village to take care of, whether it's a disabled child, whether it's a failing senior, whether it's someone that's just terminally ill, it takes a village. And if you keep saying no to everybody or you just say, I'm okay, I'm okay, and then you're going to wonder why they walked away and why you're here by yourself. I hear caregivers so many times, they're at home at night, oh, I have to do this all by myself. Well, you said no to every single person right. that asked to and help most you. Most people don't have nine children to yes. help. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rick, I want to talk a little bit more, not <laughs> just about... Oh, first I need to say hello to Tommy on the boards because I didn't say that I was so rude today. Well, hello, Linda. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hey, Tommy. Doing very well, thank you. You know, we go a long way back now, like two and a half years. That's a cool thing. That's all? So, yeah, it yeah, feels, feels like longer. It feels like <laughs> talking for years. <laughs> we're so glad that you're here today. Thank you very much. So, Rick, I, so we talked about a little bit. We talked about, so you move the pots and pans. So you got the Alexa working. But there's a whole part of the caregiving journey that has nothing to do with that. And it's all of a sudden talking to mom mm-hmm. and spending some time with mom. So let's talk about that a little bit. Because okay. you were like sleeping overnight, so you yes. have time with mom. Plenty of time. She loves to play cards. She feels sharpest when she's playing cards. So that's what we do. She loves doing that. She lights up. I mean, she's... What games? Uh, rummy. 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 And, and then I, I try to introduce slightly different games a lot, too, just to keep her... Go thinking. fish. She, yeah. Not go fish. We, we play a, a dice game, not Yahtzee. What is it called? Um, it's slipping my mind right now. But uh, fun game. Just trying to switch it up a bit. But, yeah. But the, the standard is, is rummy. She's sharp. She always pretends like she's not doing well and oh i don't even know if i remember how to play this game oh i love that (laughs) and she kicks your butt (laughs) but she's very good at it but yeah we had a lot of time to talk which is something i really try and do when i'm there have time to talk with her and she has a couple of stories that i've heard so many times and i just love hearing them every time when she she starts out with one of them is uh 
you know, when I first met your father and, and it starts out with uh, her mother made her come home when she had a date with somebody else. She oh. was in college. They, she had a date. And mom said, I haven't seen you in too long. You come home. You break that date. She came home and they had to go to the VFW for uh, you know, for a dance. And and she's saying, oh, my God, this is a this what I want to do. old people's place. And and uh, she called up one of her girlfriends who lived in the area and said, we please come to the VFW with me. I don't know what you do in this one horse town, <laughs> but uh, but please come with me. And that's where she ended up meeting my dad. And and they had a 72 year love affair. So wow. oh. it was pretty good. They were. And sometimes yeah. you just go listen to what your mom tells you to do. Yes. So her mom told her you need to come home. Right. This is what you need to do. Yeah. And the day my dad met her, he went home and told his mother, I met the woman I'm going to marry. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, That's pretty cool when that happens. Yeah. 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 I know with my, my, my stepmother, um, Heidi, lives in New York City. And I happened to be there with her when they had, um, which hurricane was it? Sandy. Sandy. So we were on the 15th floor in Grantsville. There's no electricity, mm. no water, no nothing too much. So we're both laying in our beds with blankets because it was cold. Mm -hmm. Drinking a little champagne. Keep and I'm warm. like, so tell me about your first date with my dad. Yeah. And there was no interruption because there was no television. There was no radio. There was nothing love going when the on. Power goes out. And it was wonderful. Yeah. And she still has a gas stove. Mm -hmm. And she's the best Italian cook in the world. So we took that stuff out of the freezer and just heated up on the gas stove. And some of the neighbors came. And it was one of the Got best times up. in my life. Yeah. To have that opportunity because we run and we run and we run through our lives. And we don't sit down and we don't have conversations and we don't talk about then and when. And, and I think, you know, you need to know about that then and when. I'd love to tell you one more story yeah. about my mom's first job. She always talks about that. These are the things that whenever somebody's talking about their job, I remember my first job. Oh. And, and, and you've heard it a lot of times, but you love hearing it. This one, she was a waitress at a, at a restaurant, the Washington Lunch, it's called, in Ashtabula, Ohio. And... And she was a waitress, only 16 or 17 years old. So she was very young, but uh, she ended up getting the job. And and this because you could fake it then too, or use your sister's right. ID at the time. And, right. Yeah. I so, didn't use it for a job. <laughs> they also served liquor there. So yeah. when when she turned down a, a table of boys that were trying to you know ask her to go out, and they said, you know, you're stuck up. They turned her in. Next thing you know, an officer shows up there saying, you know, Rosie, come here, come here. And she calls the owner and says, her name is Rosie, your mom. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. that even more. Rosie, you're serving liquor. How old are you? And she said, I knew enough to say 21. So I said, 21. He said, sure. If you're 21, I'm the president of the United States. Mr. President. <laughs> so, so he says, I'll be back next week. And you either have uh, an ID proving that you're 21 or yeah, I better not see you here. If you knew my grandmother, what a wild thing she was. She was in a whole nother state. She was in, where was she? I don't even remember what state she was in, but my mom called her up all, all but crying, saying, Mom, I'm going to get arrested. I'm going to go to jail if I don't, if I'm not 21. I'll have no job. Don't yeah. you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. Four days later, mom, grandma comes through and uh, the officer comes back, sure enough, a week later. And he says, Rosie, I thought I told you not to be here unless you could prove you're 21. So my mother, little Miss Angel, pulls out her fake birth certificate and gives it to a officer of the law <laughs> and he looks it over looks at her to see if she's nervous about it looks back over says I'll you're be okay dead. you can go back to work and she takes it folds it up and says thank you mr president oh my god <laughs> so i just thought that was adorable and i love that yeah. i love that because yeah. there's so many stories we miss life was different then some yeah. things are the same but life so was different, different then yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not calling up my granddaughter and saying you need to go to a VFW thing with me. This is where you right. need to go. This is, mm -hmm. and, and nobody would even do that. You know, it, it's, it was a whole different generation. I mean, everybody reach out and touch your phone. I mean, it, it's always yeah. right there with you now, isn't not it? Not me. So no, close. not when. Good girl. <laughs> She's a foot phone. All right. <laughs> but really, it's, it's true. Yeah, it's we didn't true. have that. Thank goodness. Boy, could you make pictures of everything when we were no. growing up? No, thanks. You know what? I'm happy I'm not a teenager. We today. only had the National Geographic. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm really happy or that I'm, uh, I'm not yeah. a teenager yeah. today when you yeah. look at the thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my, my the grandchildren. The panties, that's what the boys used to look at. <laughs> my grandchildren text me sometimes. When they text me, they do, are you? I'm mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah. I go, that hurts my eyes. Yeah. If you the don't spell the words out, then I'm not answering your text. Really? And I think we need to do that because they will not know how to spell. 
just like we don't know how to add because we had adding machines. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. no. Adding machines. <laughs> yeah, adding machines. What? What is that, Lynn? <laughs> what decade am I? With that paper coming out of it? I know. Well, it's like my first job. I was Abacus. a figure clerk. Yeah. yeah. And all I did was add up on an adding machine, mm. check like people's math all day long, and see we're if it was crazy. right or wrong. We are aging ourselves today. No, yeah, I it's know. Okay. But we're we're alive and healthy. That's I'm right. the winner. So yeah, you're the winner. We know when chicken dinner. No, but it's you know, and, and even sometimes when my grandchildren come, it, you know, my my granddaughter stayed with me for a couple of weeks, and it was delightful at night just chatting. Yeah, just chatting. She would come home from work, which is usually past my bedtime. But I was delighted to see her, and I know I'm not going to have lots of time with her. She's going to go on with her life, and she's doing what she's doing. And yeah, there are times when she gets a bit depressed and says, "I don't know, you know why am I still here when he's gone? He promised me." that I would go first. And she just before he passed, she needed a heart valve replacement. And she thought we knew he was he was going and she said, Why would I? Why would I get this? I want I want to go with you. But he mm -hmm. insisted. Now we know what to do. We can fix you. He made sure I mean, this is on his two weeks before he passed. He made sure she had that heart valve. And uh, and she he was still she, taking care of her. He was right. I'll tell you, he's, I, he still is. I still won't I know that he's planned something already. He was just that kind of guy. It's going to be her birthday and flowers from him will show up or something like that. He was a real planner. But so every now and then she'll get upset and say, I don't even know why. And I try and remind her, how about you know, your, your grandkids and your kids and are me, all so Mom. excited yeah, to yeah. spend time with you that uh, don't forget about us. So. Yeah. Oh, it's hard, though, when you've yeah. been with somebody so many years yeah. and they're the love well, of your I'm, life she, and they did everything together. Right. I think she feels like she's a burden. And. And she's a blessing. And she's not. No, and then I just, I really try and get that through to her and tell her what people say about her. You know, people, when people are talking about you, they say, what a treat it is to spend time it's delightful. with mom. It's delightful. They say wonderful things about her. But And and she gets to spend time with the younger grandchildren too, yes. which is nice. Oh, God, you should see a picture of her and my my little niece, six foot one. She's a huge. They don't make them little and, anymore. And they're standing back to back with sunglasses on, you know, for a, a Facebook picture, just acting like real badasses and my mom at 95 just will play along she's such a dancer Boy, oh you, you gotta send me a picture that i'll make her I a card will. and send her a card okay so you're just awesome yeah. yeah so she's quite the dancer and my father had two left feet and she says i don't know how he's i used to pick my men by how well they danced and, <laughs> and that one and, wasn't and working his was all about it, just the way he spoke to me when he talked i listened now does she have friends in fact for the last four or five years they've always been the oldest person in in the room anything. so anything my father did was I was the oldest one ever to this, ever to that. I mean, when he went zip lining, I'm not talking one zip, seven zips, the obstacle course up in the sky, and then and then bungee down to the ground. I was like, oh, how old was he? Nine at 96. Oh okay, goodness. Lynn, we're good. We have time. <laughs> and at 97, he wanted to uh, do the uh, jump out of the airplane thing, and we said like we no. did, yeah. But we we did sign him up to do that, the thing in the tube. To make believe, yeah. But he just started to get sick when the time came to do that, so. He never ended up doing that. But otherwise, he was checking that stuff off his bucket list. What did your dad do for a living? He was a superintendent at Cleveland Electric Illuminating Company. He was, he was the big shot back there. Back wow. in Cleveland. And there's some wild stories from back then. But Yeah, I love the stories. Any yeah. of the stories. Oh, and, where did and he go zip finding with that fancy zip Old, finding? Uh, that was just right here in Oldsmar. They have a... Uh -oh, Lynn. We from, might have to do that first. <laughs> as a test. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good. And so course. we save up the money for Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I think it'll be a little cheaper growing in the neighborhood then. Yes, but in Oldsmar. Okay, yeah. we'll look. Yeah. We'll check it out. We can try. We'll check it out. So You'll you know it. what we're talking about today is spend time with your loved mm -hmm. one, not worrying about if they're going to the bathroom and if they're taking their pills and if they ate their dinner. Just spend time with them. Right. And just always try to, and I think you do a really good job of this, is putting yourself in their shoes. Mm -hmm. Putting themselves. I, I can't imagine if I was all by myself and and all my 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 friends were already gone. And, and right. I only have one child. I got four grandchildren. And But what, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. And your kids treating you like you're, did you take your pills today? And yeah. it's like, yeah. oh, you just want What's wanna, your name? Yeah. You know, and I hate, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I did this uh, tip for uh, caregivers because I do a tip every Tuesday for caregivers. And it was the don'ts of dementia. And the don'ts of dementia, don't talk down to me like I'm right. a child. Don't, and if I say something wrong, just get over it. Right. What's the big deal? And mm -hmm. what kills me most of all is when they go to the doctor's office and it's like 
you're not even there. Right. You're not even there. Mm -hmm. Include the people in the conversation, whether they can understand it or not. Right. Include them in the conversation. I don't want to be treated like that. Like, I I, I can't think <sighs> straight. I can't do something for myself. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine at 95, though. Because I feel it. When my husband died, I get stuck at the widow's table at the wedding. Sure. Your whole, everything changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything mm -hmm. changes. And then when you're 95 and you don't have any peers... Yeah. It's good to have a family, yeah. though. That's a good time. Well, she has her brother right now who's 92. and they Oh, he's a kid. He's just <laughs> yeah. a kid. Her little brother who she's just crazy about. And uh, she they talk every night at 9 o'clock. <gasps> I love that. Does he live nearby? Yes, they get together every Sunday. They go out to lunch together. And he comes out occasionally on, on Wednesdays. But they, they hang out quite a bit, and he gets her. Yeah. And well, they're in the same boat. Yeah. They're in the same boat, and I think that's lovely. I hope I have my brothers and sisters as long as I can because they, they know you more than anybody else and they know your stuff. And so something you don't know, yeah. I have an older brother who has, uh, I don't even remember the name of it now, but it's a, it's a person's name, bad dementia. It's developed Louis over Body. the last, that's it. And it's, yeah. it's really bad. And it's happened over the last year. I mean, he was forgetful and had issues and now, and now he, he's, it's, it's really hard to watch. He doesn't have control of the self. He doesn't know how to eat himself, sit himself, stand himself. He probably himself. has delusions and hallucinations. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it can is you imagine? really tough. And all nine kids have been very close. And now all of a sudden there's one of us that's 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 not. So it's pretty scary for all of us to see. And is he here? No, he's back in Ohio. But he was. He and I were, were very tight. I don't know don't know why, but I was his hero for some reason. He worried about everything, and I and I didn't. And and he wanted he admired that probably because yeah. you weren't the warrior and he was yeah. so he and i still get along pretty well though i haven't seen him now in in four months and i understand that that four months has been a life changer it, he's yeah real real so maybe you need to plan a trip is he married yes yeah and she spends a lot of time with him although he doesn't really no no yeah yeah he doesn't know why he's there he, but yeah so once again i'm going to tell you before we listen to our wonderful partners Spend time with right. your people now. Yes. Don't wait until they're sick. Mm -hmm. Don't wait. There's no excuses. There's no right. excuses, especially with the world we have today. You can fly anywhere in a minute. You can right. be there. So now we're going to hear from our wonderful partners, Connecting Caregivers Radio on the TAN Talk Radio Network. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Choosing the right chiropractor is an important choice to make. Located in Seminole, the Alexander Spine Center team is trained on the latest chiropractic treatments and technologies. At Alexander Spine Center, you'll find chiropractic and physical therapy care that is safe, effective, and a natural approach to pain and other health-related issues. Chiropractic unlocks your body's potential and natural healing process to ensure your life is a healthy life. We treat clients from the womb to the tomb. Call 727-397-3000 for a free consultation today or visit our website at www.alexanderspinecenter.com. They take good care of me twice a week. And did you know they got the Reader's Choice Award for 2019 for the best chiropractic in Pinellas County? So check them out. Arden Quartz is an assisted living facility designed to care for those that are struggling with dementia or Alzheimer's, where families and residents can feel the freedom with a nurse on site 24-7. Arden Quartz provides specialized memory care in a safe and nurturing environment. They recognize every individual's physical, mental, and social needs and provide a secure environment that fosters independence for as long as possible. Walking paths, visual cues, and home-like amenities invoke a sense of freedom and independence. At Arden Courts, their goal is to make your loved one as comfortable, independent, and healthy as possible. They offer 10 hours a day of activities and programming with a unique setting of a home-like environment and four theme houses. It warms my heart to see how happy the residents are. Please call or stop in to talk with a representative. Arden Quartz of Seminole at 727-517-7800, Largo 727-559-8411, or Palm Harbor 727-771-1600. Give them a call. Is the fear of falling keeping you from doing the things you love? Do you suffer from diabetic neuropathy or plantar fasciitis? Vox Life can help. Whether you're caring for someone you love or being cared for, Vox Life wearable Neurotech helps your body reach its full potential. Proven to reduce symptoms of diabetic neuropathy and plantar fasciitis, Vox Life also reduces the risk of falling in adults over the age of 55 by eight times. 
VoxLife is a safe, simple, drug-free solution that optimizes your neurology. The biggest breakthrough in wellness in 50 years. VoxLife offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can't afford not to try it. To learn more about VoxLife, go to www.voxxlife.com. Dot com forward slash caregivers. That's www.voxxlife.com forward slash caregivers. They help my parents and they can help yours too. Guaranteed to make you laugh through your tears, Linda Burhan's book, Good Night and God Bless, is filled with humor and heartfelt inspiration to aid anyone facing the challenge of caring for a loved one at the end of life. Her story offers hope for human strength and understanding of weaknesses during a difficult time. Life doesn't normally prepare us to become a loved one's caregiver. When it happens, it's usually sudden. A diagnosis of an illness, age-related frailty, dementia, and life suddenly is anything but normal. And because we don't even know what we don't know, where do we turn to for help or guidance? In Connecting Caregivers, answers to the questions you didn't know you needed to ask, Linda offers information, education, and inspiration from her own experience and from experts whose advice, practical tools, and personal stories will empower and guide you. Make sure to add these inspiring books to your collection today, available on Amazon.com. Don't turn it off now. You need this stuff. Tampa Bay's Tantalk Radio Network. And we're off. No, we're not off. You know what that means. It means it's time to get your paper and pen because Lynn's got good stuff to tell you. I do. Yeah, you do. On September 14th, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., Arden Courts of Seminole at 9300 Antilles Drive We'll be having a community yard sale with all the proceeds going to the Alzheimer's Association Walk to End Alzheimer's. For information, call 727-517-7800. And go to alz.org and sign up for a team. Even if you can't do the walk, just sign up for a team. Oh, okay. I'm jumping ahead. You are. On September 29th at 3 p.m. at the Pinellas Park Performing Arts Center at 4951 78th Ave North, the matinee opera players is celebrating their 25 years in business. That's very cool. Yeah. Uh, it's, there are no tickets sold. It's all by donation. There will be complimentary snacks at intermission, raffles, and door prizes. And it's a wonderful family event. Yeah. On a Sunday afternoon, you can go there. It's a free event. There's a lot of good stuff there. Just take your family and go. Right. People say, I can't afford to do stuff. Well, at least you can. On October 12th at 9 a.m. with registration at 8 a.m., is the walk to end Alzheimer's at Poitner Park way. in St. Pete. Aerosmith. Yeah. To join a team or start your own team, please go to act.alz.org slash Pinellas. There you go. On October 13th, from 3 to 8 p.m., with dinner from 4 to 6 p.m., Better Living for Seniors invites your generous sponsorship. The needed funds will go right back into our community for underserved seniors and disabled adults. Light Entertainment starts at 3 p.m. and rolls into an evening of the hottest bands. For more info, call blspinellas.org. Yeah, Better Living for Senior works together with Area Agency on Aging. And they raise a lot of funds for people in the community. You don't realize that you may have a neighbor that cannot afford a pair of socks. You might have someone who is in a community, okay, and they have housing in the community and they get food in the community, but they don't get shampoo in the community. They don't get pajamas in the community. When you see it, when they have the silver standards and you see a list from somebody and they're asking for a pair of sweatpants and some shampoo. Mm -hmm. And a toothbrush. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. So let's get together and do that. So we're almost coming to a close. I just realized as we were talking on break that you and I know someone in common. Yes. And her name is Ruba. Dr. Ruba Abu Ali from Jordan. And we've met online. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we met online. You met her online. Right. Are you like carousing women online? But <laughs> she is a wonderful woman. Uh, she always posts on my, my Facebook photos and well, shares photos. things, and which is very kind. Yeah. But she actually sent me this beautiful table runner and some gifts. And I don't even, I never even met her. And now you just told me she had a bunch of your books printed and she translated two of my books into Arabic. Wow. And and today I got news today that 
that she purchased a thousand. A thousand. To get into the schools out there. The, it's, uh, it's When I'm Gone, which is an afterlife book that, that really spoke to her. And she wants to get it into the hands of wow. children in the schools there. And she's just taken it on. And I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I did to deserve you, Ruba, <laughs> but I'm so glad you're part of my life. Yeah, I am too, Ruba. So I hope you listen to the show and, and and you hear our kind words because it, you really mean a lot to us. And it's yep. and it's amazing when you just start being open to other people. Yeah, and reach out to one. This Tammy is, and I'd like to be friends too. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, I mean this is a wonderful life. Yes, this is a wonderful life, and it depends on where you look at it and what you do with it, and and just always be open to the possibilities. Yeah. Because I always say all the time is we're all the same schmoes. Right. We're, uh, you know, you want to be loved, you want a roof over head, health. Other side of the world. And we've learned that we have so much in common and, and so many differences. And we've just learned so much about each other. Yeah. What a family woman. Wonderful yeah. wife, yeah. mother. I see the way she is with her children. Just, just. I know she sent me a picture, a private message adorable, with her kids and everything. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, so yeah. that's so thank you, Ruba. Yep. And uh, do you want to say anything to your mom on the show? Because she'll have to listen to the show. Oh. oh gosh. Uh love you, you just, mom. Yeah, you, know, you just know I love you, mom. And and it'll still be our secret that I'm your favorite. Yes. And maybe yes. next time you can come on. Yeah, maybe. That would be great. That oh, be fun? she That'd is be fun? so much fun. All right, let's do it. You would have a blast. Let's with her. do it. Let's figure and it out. She'll, she's not afraid to talk. Good. We Rosie love the that. Riveter. Rosie the Riveter. Rosie the Riveter. You know, I went on the honor flight. A whole recently. other story another time. Yeah, the, I'll let her you tell heard it. of the honor flight? They yes. take the veterans. Yes, my and father. my woman was 88 that I took. Mm -hmm. And um, she was in the Korean War in the Marines. Mm -hmm. And I said to her, so well, what did you do? And she goes, I was in information and intelligence. Zip, Linda, I can't tell you anything. I'm not <laughs> going to kill you. Tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so where can people get your books, Rick? Amazon. They're on Audible, paperback, okay. ebook. So really and his just, last name is Incorvia, I-N-C-O-R-V-I-A. Thank you very much. So check it out. Uh, once again, thank you for tuning in today. You know how much I appreciate your time. I know it's not easy for caregivers to take the time just to sit down and listen to a show, but I hope you got something good from it today and a little laughs. So please like us on Facebook. Please go to our YouTube channel, Connecting Caregivers Radio with Linda Burhands, and subscribe. We have a really URL now, right? Oh, yes, we have a URL. YouTube.com slash Connecting Caregivers Radio with Linda Burhands. Uh, we look forward to spending time with you again next week. Remember that God loves you all the time and have a delicious day.